The Shell Ecomarathon Youth Challenge UK is an educational programme. We challenge students to design, build and test their own vehicles. The objective of this event is to encourage the next generation of engineers and scientists to take an interest in technology and to give them a meaningful project to pursue for a whole year and put to the test here on the track. These kids have made the whole car themselves, the designed and made it. Christian here has designed the bodywork for the other car. I've learned quite a lot about how the engines work and everything. You don't want you to hurt yourselves? So please, please be safe. We try to help the schools by giving them an engine free of charge. We set them up with a mentor from their area to help them with the technical problems. And we give them a guide how to build a vehicle, at least for the first year, to have a basic vehicle to start with. With Shell organising it, they've been great at uh, supplying the engines. Any questions we've got, we'll be able to phone up Mike Evans and he's been able to tell us any problems there. Shell's help is phenomenal. They bend over backwards to help us. No problems too small. An email, two days later the parts turn up. Thank you very much for competing in Shell Eco Challenge. The commitment we have for the environment is really high and this is part of that. So getting the kids to see how they can improve fuel economy makes them more aware that they can do something about it. Not necessarily about designing the car, but how they drive and where they need to focus to improve fuel efficiency, I think, is part of it. We're trying to see um, whether a combination of shorter lap times and a quicker speed will get the engine running more efficiently so you use less fuel, or whether if we stretch it out and we coast for longer rather than use the engine more, whether we could get a better um, fuel economy out of that. For us, it was really important to include the skills the kids have been learning in design and technology and science within the project. And one of those is recyclability, and for us that was really, really important, that the kids understand the link between where the materials come from, how they can be used in an engineering context. So we've chosen uh, sustainable forest timber, and all the plastics and all the other materials are recyclable. Within the new Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5 curriculum, one of the key features of the product design course is sustainability. So that links in well. We also run engineering GCSE and A-level and we run sustainable green projects for those courses as well. So it kind of ties together through everything we're doing in the DT department. This is a fantastic boss curricular activity. So yes, we want people who want to get a little bit of grease on their hands and play with the engines, but there are other skill sets that they need too. The children here today are learning about mathematics, figuring out the fuel efficiency of the car, doing those calculations, design, designing the actual car, making sure it's as aerodynamic as possible so it can go as far as possible in little fuel. Communications, where are you now? We have team members of the drivers on the sidelines calculating how many laps they've done and, and what their average time is. I'm the driver of Tiger Tigers and I normally try to keep a constant speed and then they normally tell me if I'm going too fast or too slow. You do learn a lot. You learn about fuel economy, you learn obviously how it uh, helps the environment and you learn teamwork and all the different sides of the eco-marathon experience. I've learned how to use soda and iron, how to yeah, put the whole car together, really. Every member of staff here today is um, a Shell member of staff helping with the refueling and the results measurements. So we've got the top engineers helping these school children out with their cars. We even have Ian, who's their top Formula One fuel engineer. What you actually see here is the area where we refuel the cars once they've done their seven laps. From these volumes, we're able to work back what the actual miles per gallon is. And it's great seeing the enthusiasm of the school children when they realise what their volume is, they've beaten their time before. We've beaten our score from last year, but we're trying, we're t trying for a target of maybe 1,000 miles per gallon. We're hoping this year we'll be getting about 1,600 uh, miles per gallon. We're hoping to get around about 400 to 600 miles per gallon. Everybody can be a winner if they improve on what they've achieved the last time. Today we've seen a school team get more than 4,300 miles per gallon. That's fantastic. It's not about competition, it's about cooperation, I think, and you learn from each other. Anybody who comes up to us wants to borrow anything, we're more than willing to lend engines out, and by the same token, the organisers, Shell, are great. If you've got a problem, they'll help solve it by asking around other teams. It's good seeing international teams here, and there are a lot of children working together and learning from each other, I think. Eco Marathon, I think it's um, yeah, I think it's really good because it gets school kids our age get into engineering. This is great fun. This is of course about science, but when you see the team spirit and the competition, it's really positive. 
this is a great thing to do. It's a great experience and it gets, gets loads of people involved and it's something to work on, it's a great project. Anybody who is trying to go for Ecomathon should because even if you're not interested in the mechanical engineering side of it, you do learn a lot and you just, it's just a great experience all around.